conservation and open space element focuses on the protection and protection, enhancement, and use of the natural resources and recreational spaces in the community. The topics that conservation addresses specifically include soil, water, air, and biological resources. The topics for open space include parks and recreation, open space, and agriculture. Oceano is unique in that it accesses its water from three sources. The Lopez Lake Reservoir, the Santa Maria Groundwater Basin, and the State Water Project. Water is valuable and a finite resource in California. That being said, these three sources provide Oceano with an abundance of water, especially compared to other communities in the region and California as a whole. Stationary and mobile sources of air quality play a huge role in Oceano. The stationary sources include the airport and the sanitation district, while the mobile sources include the various motorized vehicles from recreation, construction, agriculture, and traffic. These mobile sources can contribute to greenhouse gas emissions and air quality issues. Oceano contains numerous biological resources, mainly within the areas of the Oceano Lagoon and the Oceano Dunes. There are 19 endangered and threatened species in the area, including seven plant and 12 wildlife species. Two of these species, the Western Snowy Plover and the La Grosiosa Thistle, are designated as critical habitat, as shown in the turquoise and pink areas on the map. In addition to these various environmental assets, Oceano has a few open space areas that provide economic, environmental, health, and social benefits to the community. There are two open spaces managed and run by the county, the Oceano Memorial Park and the Oceano Memorial Campground. These two areas are adjacent to one another and provide campsites, picnic tables, barbecue areas, a basketball court, and a playground for community use. There are three natural open space areas within Oce Oceano, which include the open space area in the subdivision south of the Pike and east of 24th Street, the Oceano Lagoon, and the Oceano Dunes State Ve Vehicle Recreation Area, or the SVRA. Agricultural lands comprise a major portion of open space area in Oceano and have the capability of being protected from development expansion. Not only is agriculture a large part of Oceano's economy and history, the agricultural lands south of Oceano also act as a natural protector against floods. The Oceano community identified the following strengths related to conservation and open space. The proximity to the beach, rich agricultural soils, ample water supply, and natural habitat and wildlife. The community identified the following barriers in Oceano. Vehicular recreation on the dunes, which causes air quality and noise problems. The limited number of parks and playgrounds. Limited pedestrian access to the beach. And the large amount of land taken by the Oceano Airport. Community wishes include better access to the beach, more parks in the community overall, better flood control measures, and more recreational activities. Based on existing conditions and community feedback, the emerging directions developed are to identify opportunities and locations for new parks and recreational areas, the preservation of natural habitats, endangered species and agricultural lands, addressing possible flood control measures, and creation of strategies for managing vehicular recreation on the beach and the dunes. Noise. 
Noise is defined as unwanted or disturbing sound that can impair the quality of life for residents and workers in the community. The noise element identifies sources of those sounds and noise sensitive land uses with the purpose of ensuring that future noise sources are reduced and that noise will not adversely affect those who live and work in the community. Speaking of noise, is that too distracting out there? Yes. Okay, yes. can we close that? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked them to keep it down a little bit, please. Thank you. These are examples of major noise sources in Oceana. The railroad, industrial areas, the dunes, Highway 1, the airport, and downtown. The highest concentration of existing noise levels in Oceano are from Highway 1 and the railroad, as shown by the colored sections on the map. The areas in red experience the highest concentration of noise, while the areas in yellow and orange experience lower levels. A few of the sensitive noise receptors in Oceano that must be kept in mind during the planning process include the Community Health Center and Del Mar Medical Center, Oceano Elementary and Lucia Mar Adult School, the churches of Oceano, residential zones, the senior center, and the natural preserves around Oceano. The, the first community meeting led to the collection of strengths, barriers, and community wishes for noise. A strength for Oceano is that it has quiet neighborhoods throughout the community. Major noise issues identified by the community include activities associated with the noise, the airport, and campsites. The community voiced their desire for the noise for noise barriers and mitigations, primarily for noise produced by activities on the dunes. After hearing input from the community, we identified a few key directions. Reducing noise at the source, increasing or creating mitigation measures, and improving land use compatibility. Economic development. The economic development element outlines goals for economic health, funding, and other issues pertaining to the economy, such as businesses, job growth and retention, and community revitalization. This element is related to the land use and circulation elements in the sense that land use relates to the physical location of businesses and buildings, and circulation relates to the movement of goods, services, and customers. The specific topics covered in economic development deal with the types of jobs and industries in Oceano, as well as income of its residents. The five sectors that make up the majority of Oceano's economy are agriculture, healthcare, construction, utilities, and accommodations, and food services. As a reference, the median income in Oceano is about $12,000 less than that of the county of San Luis Obispo. This means that economic development element needs to both promote higher paying jobs within Oceano and ensure residents have access to affordable businesses and services. During the first community meeting, community members shared what they believe Oceano's strengths are. These include tourist attractions, the local agriculture, and the community's rich history, once being known as the Atlantic City of the West. The community meeting also brought up several barriers that potentially interfere with the economic growth of Oceano, such as issues surrounding the Oceano SBRA, the community's limited funding sources and small tax base, and limited diversity in the local economy. Community members shared the following topics and ideas related to economic development that they wish to see in Oceano. These ideas included increasing and diversifying the local tax base, developing the downtown area with more diverse businesses, 
more art and cultural activities that showcase Oceana's rich history and diversity of residents, and farmers markets and grocery stores. As the project moves forward, these are the areas that we will explore. The assessment of the local business environment and the factors that influence it, the evaluation of how the built environment impacts the economy and businesses, and the consideration of the community's identity in order to attract businesses, residents, and tourism characteristic of Oceana. We are now going to start our second breakout session. Our student team has rotated the boards with questions to now represent